Hello everyone, my name is Brian, but you can call me the Bugler, and today we're talking about the Voidwalker Warlock's Attunement of Hunger skill tree. Starting off, we have the melee ability called Devour. This skill makes it so when you strike an enemy, you fully regenerate your health, and for a short time afterwards, kills will also heal you. This is a little misleading, because you don't have to strike an enemy with this ability, you have to actually kill them. We'll get to that when we come to it, though. Next up is Feed the Void. This skill allows you to consume your grenade charge in order to restore your health, and also grant the Devour effect, so each kill afterwards will also restore your health. After that, we have Insatiable. This skill makes it so kills while the Devour effect is active will restore a portion of your grenade charge and also extend the duration of Devour. And finally, we have the Super Modifier, Vortex. This modifies your Nova Bomb to make a Vortex on impact, which stays for a short amount of time and damages any enemy inside it. Let's talk about the melee ability first. Devour, like most melee abilities in this game, deal the base damage of the melee attack as if you did not have a charge. Its only benefit is that it also grants you the effects Devour. This effect lasts for 10 seconds and will restore your health immediately after killing an enemy. During those 10 seconds, any kill that you get will also restore your health. Devour's health regenerative abilities are unparalleled in Destiny 2, especially once you unlock the other two skills that add to it. Unlike other health restoring abilities in Destiny 2, this one will restore a flat amount of your health immediately, in that it's not starting health regeneration, it's granting a health bonus. This is an important distinction because it means you can stay alive even while receiving sustained damage. We'll talk about that further later in the video, but first I want to show you how the description of this skill is a complete lie. You can see that even though I have a melee charge, I'm hitting this enemy with my melee ability and I'm not granting any health, or the devour bonus. This is a problem. I don't understand why the skills cannot have an accurate description. It seems like I run into this every other video and it's starting to get a little frustrating. Of course, that doesn't take away from the effectiveness of this skill. Moving on, we have Feed the Void. This skill allows you to consume your grenade in order to restore your health and grant the Devour effect. This can be done by holding the grenade button on your respective controller. Once you do this, your Devour effect starts at 10 seconds. You can also use this skill to replenish Devour if you don't have any enemies to kill, but we'll cover that next. And then we have Insatiable. You should consider this skill to be the linchpin of the Attunement of Hunger skill tree, and that's because if you get any kills while Devour is active, it will restore Devour's duration, and any kill while Devour is active will also grant a little bit of grenade energy. Let's look at the grenade restoration first. Any enemy you kill while Devour is active will grant you about one-fifth of a grenade charge. It's actually a little bit less than one-fifth, but it's not quite one-sixth. If you kill five enemies, you won't get your charge back, but the time between those kills will be enough to almost always grant you that charge back. So unless you kill all five enemies simultaneously, you won't really see the effect of that little extra. Insatiable is the skill that keeps the ball rolling for this Rube Goldberg machine of a skill tree. You see, by using your grenades wisely, you can keep hunger active indefinitely, as long as you're scoring kills to regenerate your grenade charge and also regenerate the hunger effects, you'll be able to keep consuming grenades in between encounters or while you're fighting stronger enemies. This makes you nigh unkillable in certain situations, and I'll show you one now. I'm showing you this situation for two reasons. First off, it's in an area that was accessible during the beta so our PC players won't be spoiled. And also, by standing in Vex Milk, I'm able to ensure that we're receiving constant damage. This is to show that the effects of Devour are instantaneous. If it was a restorative ability, we wouldn't be able to heal through the constant damage we're receiving. Another thing to take note of is how many enemies we kill before we have a restored grenade charge. We kill 5 enemies before our grenade charge is back, but that's only because we had time between each enemy. If we killed them back to back, like I said earlier, we would not have our charge back. And now, let's look at the main weakness of the hunger skill tree, and that is, to put it simply, your teammates. 
You see, any enemy that you damage but do not get the final blow on will not grant you the Devour effect or an extension. This is an issue because if you're team shotting with your teammates, you will always be losing out on health. You need to be careful because the hunger skill tree encourages you to play recklessly in order to make sure you're continuing to get healed. But if your teammates are just as reckless, you might find yourself in trouble. Simple communication is your best friend here. And now onto our final skill and super modifier, Vortex. This skill makes it so your Nova Bomb will turn into a Vortex on impact that will continuously damage enemies that are inside it. I don't like the wording of this skill because it implies that enemies will be pulled towards the Vortex after it lands. That is not the case. Enemies will attempt to walk away from the Vortex if they are receiving damage from it. So keep that in mind. The explosive radius of the Vortex is exactly the same as the explosion of the Nova Bomb, which is also the same as the original Nova Bomb before we changed it to the Vortex. The Vortex will last for 5 seconds and damage any enemy that stands inside it. Let's take a look at those damage numbers. Now we're testing this against our constant enemy, the Modular Mind. A normal Nova Bomb will deal 6 damage on impact, plus 4,955 for a total of 4,961 damage. The Vortex will deal 6 on impact, plus 4,909 for the explosion, and 31 ticks of 56 damage, for a total of 6,651. A net gain. But did you notice the number for the explosive damage? The Vortex's explosive damage is actually a small amount less than a regular Nova Bomb's explosion. I'm not quite sure why this is. Every time I tested it, I continued to get the same results. I could not get a Vortex Nova Bomb that dealt more damage than my max damage regular Nova Bomb. This isn't all that important information because the damage difference is such a small percentage that you'll rarely ever see this in normal gameplay, in that any enemy that you could kill with a regular Nova Bomb, you will also probably kill with the Vortex Nova Bomb on Explosion. It's just one of those weird Destiny things that I'm not quite sure how it works. And that's the end of our breakdown. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about how I conducted the tests, or why I might have included certain footage and left out other footage, let me know in the comments, I'd be happy to answer you. And for those of you who have been paying attention to my release schedule, you may have noticed that this is not a Sentinel Titan Grenade and Super Breakdown, and that's because my assistants were unavailable to help me with testing. I will be getting that testing done tonight so I can release the Sentinel video tomorrow, and the Titan Guide will be going up this weekend as scheduled. You can consider this video a little extra then. And if you have any more suggestions for my Titan Best in Show video this weekend, let me know in the comments. So once again, thanks for watching, I hope I see you next time, and good luck getting through the exclusion zone.